videos for you. It's just basically all the things that I've been loving, um, kind of like through February into kind of March. So yeah, um, I'm going to get started and I'll start with all my kind of beauty bits that I have. Um, I've got this new kind of purchase, but um, I've been really, really using it. I really wanted to mention it because um, there's one product in this that I really love and it's from the Laura Mercier collection. It's um, the Flawless Facebook Portable Complexion Palette um, and I've got it in the colour Sand and it basically has four things in there. So it kind of looks like this and then you open it up and it has the mirror inside. It's quite little, it's really great for my handbag. It's got this little brush here and then it has a powder here and this is a tinted moisturiser I haven't used that much yet and then the secret concealer which I have been using and it's really great and then it's got these two um, colours here and um, they're like um, concealers as well I think they are yeah they're like secret, um, secret camouflage and they're kind of like a um, concealer and they've been mixed with the two colours that are in the palette um, they are so great. I haven't had any irritations with my skin at all with this. I can't explain how my favourite item is this. It's like a little pressed powder. It's a, it's a mineral pressed powder and I've used it mainly to conceal just under my eyes. Oh my god, it's so good. It's just like, it just can, literally powders so well. It's just like you can't see anything at all. That's I really want to see if I can just find the bigger pressed mineral powder. I've, I've had my eye on the translucent powder but I'm really really interested to just get this pressed powder right here because it just leaves a flawless finish like amazing like there's no it doesn't go into my fine lines and um, it's so light it's like it's not irritating my skin at all and it just can my concealer does not move once the powder is on so I, I'm so happy with that and it comes with this little brush I haven't used it yet um, this month um, I've just been really loving this powder and the, this concealer here so I've been using the combination of those both mainly I haven't tried the tinted moisturiser on my face yet so I'm really I will um, let you know how I get on with the whole palette um, and maybe do a review on this whole little palette it's really tiny it's probably coming up quite big on the camera and it's got this really big um, mirror which I love um, it's great for on the go and it fits perfectly in my handbag so I would say it's great for travel really enjoying it at the moment um, yeah and it's from Laura Mercier and I did get it on Amazon um, and I think I got it for like £17 so um, I know it's a little on the pricier side but it does come with a powder a concealer and a tinted moisturiser so um, hopefully I'll see how long it lasts me to hopefully give you a reason for that price um, but yeah I thought it was great because it's great packaging and um, it's not like you know um, cheap or anything it's it's really good for on the go and I'm really liking it at the moment especially that powder I want to see if I can get it on its own so yeah great and it's in the colour sand I got it the flawless the flawless Facebook portable complexion palette from Laura Mercier love it the next item um, I'm really really enjoying at the moment is these bubbly brown things that I've got. Um, I didn't get them, I've had them a while now. Um, it's this um, bobby brown, I got this in the outlet store. I can't remember how much I got it for. I did another video on it and I'm really enjoying it at the moment. I, um, I've got it on at the moment actually. Um, it's in this colour, I know it looks silly. <laughs> um, it's in this colour here and it's the long wear cream eyeshadow stick. It's really um, easy to use so basically what I do now is I, it's like a crayon so I literally just dab it on my hand as much as I can because I've noticed that when I'm putting on the actual um, stick is prone to breaking so I rub it on my hand and then I just blend it out with my finger that's the easiest way I find it to go on it's such a creamy textured eyeshadow um, I'm really enjoying it at the moment and I got it in the colour Dusty Mauve and it's the long wear cream shadow stick from Bobbi Brown and I bought mine in the outlet I'm not sure if it's available um, I know it should be available online somewhere and um, in the Bob Brown store. We don't have one here, so I got this from the outlet in Portsmouth. But I'm really loving this um, eyeshadow stick from Bobby Brown at the moment. The other thing I bought um, that I'm really enjoying at the moment is this Rich Lip Colour SPF 12 in it as well. It's from Bobby Brown and I've still got it in the box because it's so expensive. <laughs> um, but it's this Bobby Brown um, lipstick. It's such a pretty colour. It's in the colour 
Mod Pink. Um, I've got a similar blush that matches this that I really love, and it's in the Mod Pink number 13. Um, this is just it's just a really pretty colour. It's like a really pretty pink. I've never seen pink like this before, and I've never seen these te type of textured, um, subtle, creamy lipsticks. It's really creamy and it's a tiny bit glossy, but it's just such a lovely textured um, um, lipstick and it feels great on the lips. I just really love this colour. I really want to save it for special occasions, but maybe I could do like a tutorial on this lipstick because I am really loving this one. Um, highly recommend that. Um, and I also um, have been enjoying these um, Stilla, the Stilla um, pigments. Um, they're pigments, but they're metallic. So they're metallic, um, magnificent metal eyes, metallic, metallic laurel. So this is in the colour metallic laurel, and it's like a greeny kind of. I just really love these greeny kind of pigment. I don't know if you're kind of picking it up, but it's kind of like a emerald kind of green or just a little bit subtler than an emerald type of green um, shadow and um, they're like little foil eyeshadows they look like little foil eyeshadows and um, they're just so pretty on the eyes they come with this little primer a wet primer and basically what you do is you put the wet primer on your eyelid first and then what you do is get the eyeshadow and then put the eyeshadow over and it just looks so pigmented and the primer really helps to just make the eyeshadow look even more um, standing out it just makes it look amazing like it just works so well with the um, with the primer they I think I did a video on it with the primer that they give it's such a pretty color it's just such a beautiful green and it's great for special occasions um, say you're going out somewhere and you just want to look really glam it's just a great colour they really remind me of Kathleen, Kathleen Light's um, Colourpop um, um, for your eyeshadows I just think they're so pretty and I'm sure she does videos on them but they really remind me of those types of eyeshadows and they're just lovely I'm really enjoying it and the one that I've um, worn and I just want to show you this really pretty colour as well it's like this goldy for your eyeshadow and it's from Stilla and I got those in TK Maxx um, quite recently and I've just been really love I've worn one of the colours a lot I haven't got it in front of me I don't think but I will show you in another video and they're just um, really really lovely they're just so easy to blend and I just blend it out with my finger but I would recommend using it with the primer I got mine in TK Maxx but I'm sure the Stilla, Stilla website did them and also if you go to London they have, there's a still a store but um, I bought mine from TK Maxx and they were also discounted to like 2 99 and I think usually they're about £19 so I'm really loving those my other recent purchase that I got in TK Maxx um, in my be huge beauty haul you can catch up on that and find out <laughs> everything I bought and I just wanted to mention this because I'm absolutely loving it I would highly recommend even before I start talking about this that you purchase one of these because they were well worth my money. This was eight ninety nine. I think originally um, I got this in TK Maxx and it was eight ninety nine. And originally I think they're about twenty two pounds. And if you buy it at the Elizabeth Art Encounter or online, um, but I bought mine in TK Maxx and I hope they restock this because it's amazing. Like normally what I do is. I use um, another mascara, the Hypnotize Lancome one, to kind of separate my lashes. With this, I don't need to. I don't need to use any other mascara to separate my lashes. I just use the one mascara. I go in with one coat with this, and it literally separates my lashes so well. Um, I don't know what, it's in the black number one, and I'm not sure what um, collection it's from in Elizabeth Ogden, but I know it's one of their volumizing mascaras, because I picked this up in... TK Maxx, it did come in the box but I haven't got the box anymore but I've been using it so much and I absolutely love it it's so quick and easy to use as well you're like literally quickly applying a mascara you don't have to wait around for your um, mascara to like you know separate your lashes this has really tiny kind of bristles that come out 
and they're really nicely separated so I feel like that's what's helping to separate my lashes really well and it's just the perfect size wand for me. I'm not sure whether it's a rubber wand or a plastic wand or I don't know but it's doing the job for me. It's absolutely amazing mascara. I would highly, highly recommend you um, check out if your TK Maxx has one of these or um, order one because I do, th I honestly do think this is worth the um, money because it's such a great mascara. It does the job. It's lasting really, really long. It stays really, um, you know, where I know some people like their um, mascaras to kind of dry out a little bit. But I think you'd have to wait for this to dry out quite, um, a lot, a lot because um, I kind of like what I try to do is kind of le um, rub off the excess on the top of the bowl, then apply my, my mascara. So it can, can up, apply quite um, clumpy if you don't. But honestly, guys, you have to try this to actually believe how good of a uh, mascara this is. This is so my favourite mascara this month. Loving that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, talk about, <laughs> talk about is also this um, um, item from Elizabeth Arden. It's this bronzer set, and it's from the two to two colours. Sorry, it's a bit kind of like all over the place, but it comes in two colours, so darker. One is a bronzer, but I kind of use like this side as a contour kind of thing on my um, on my cheeks, and then blend it out with this a little bit um, to make the colour a little bit more subtler. But both the colours are really, really subtle, and I love it. I love the fine powder um, formula of it. They're so smooth and creamy. Oh, I would highly recommend this as well. I'm just really, really enjoying it. Um, both the um, textures of the powder are so and pigmented I don't like a heavy contour I like things that are really light and um, easy to blend and then don't look too heavy on the face um, my skin reacts a lot I have a lot a heavy I have a sensitive skin so products that are quite heavy on the skin kind of um, give me a reaction so this is just a great to have and um, so easy to use the color the colors are amazing like for a bronzer for a highlight amazing um highly recommend this and i got this also in tk maxx in an offer i think it was about 7.99 and i think again usually they're about 22 pound um, on the elizabeth Arden counter or online so um i would check out um tk maxx or somewhere where an outlet or something beforehand or just online see if you could find it on um somewhere cheap on a promotion because um and before buying it for full price but I would recommend this because I got it in the colour from the Colour Intrigue collection and it's the Bronze Beauty I got and it's the Bronzing Powder Duo I love it mm. so great and I also picked up um, I'm just going to show before I show you anything else like that I'm just going to uh, mention this um, Bourjois Emma foundation this is really great I love this foundation it's it's so great. I'm I'm not sure if it, um, there's so many people um, reviewing this and talking about this. I reviewed it and I love it so 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 much. Um, it's the Emma foundation. It's from Bourjois collection. Honestly, it's the mattest foundation I've ever tried, and it's so buildable as well. It's just like the infallible matte, if not even more matte, and it blends so well. It goes onto the skin so well, so well. Um, I can't complain about this foundation at all. The only problem um, I had with it, and I had to stop using it, was it gave me an allergic reaction. I think it's because it has a scent in it, and I think a lot of the bourgeois and um, products have scents in them. So unfortunately, I had to stop using it because um, I broke out in it, and I realised now it's taken me quite a while to get my skin um, back to normal. I'm not wearing any foundation at the moment um, because I'm trying to get my skin back into. A good condition um yeah so it did break me out so unfortunately i had to stop using it but honestly i would highly recommend if you don't have sensitive skin like me or anything like that i highly recommend this foundation if you love matte foundations um if you love that flawless finish and um, air matte look like the infallible gives you then i would highly recommend this it retails at 10 pounds um in super drug and boots and they have like a collection of four colors to check them out um i highly recommend this i love it but unfortunately i can't use it <laughs> Super down on me. The other thing I just wanted to mention on the beauty side of things before I mention that mm. um, is this beauty blender. It's also from TK Maxx and I think they restock them regularly. I don't think Super Drugs or Boots do anything like this, but it's the True Beauty Beauty Blender. It's argan infused. It smells so good. Um, I also have the green tea version of this. Um, they're great. 
these are so great to blend out your foundation with, give that, give you that flawless finish. I use it with all my foundations, um, if I'm using foundation, um, which I'm not at the moment, but honestly, I would recommend these. Um, I love the fact that they have um, argon infused. I'm not exactly sure what that's doing, but the Beauty Blender itself is so easy to blend out your makeup with. It gives you, it doesn't leave any streaks or anything like that. It does kind of exactly what your um, Real Techniques one would do. So um, if I wasn't going to buy the Real Techniques one, I would buy this. I really like it. And I really like the fact that it has all these different kind of types of ranges, like argan infused, green tea infused, things like that. So I'm still using my green tea one, and then I really want to give this one a go. So I'm quite intrigued to see how this goes. But I'm really loving using these um, sponges. It's like a teardrop shape. So um, yeah, it's kind of like a teardrop shape. So it really is easier to kind of blend um, your um, concealer under your eyes because it really gets right under your eyes, which sometimes with brushes it's really hard to get under your eyes and um, with the Real Techniques one it's quite, because it's, well it's actually it's really good with the Real Techniques one, but I really like this and it's different to my Real Techniques one and it still has the same kind of texture and feel of the Real, Real Techniques one. With these they're a really good quality beauty blender, so I would highly recommend these and I think I got this for 3 99 from TK Maxx and um, yeah so I'll, I'll um, have a look at them because I think they are a tiny bit cheaper than the Real Techniques ones so I'm really liking that. <sighs> Feels like out of breath today, I don't know what's going on with me. Um, right, I feel like I'm rushing or something. Okay so I'm just going to mention this as well, this is one of my favourites as well. It's the uh, Melissa, um, it's a roll on scent but it's organic, um, I got it from TK Maxx as well. Um, I had the box, but I don't have it in front of me. But basically, it's a really pretty, um, lemony, orangey kind of scented um, roll-on. It's all organic. It has. Um, it's from the Tessarand Aromatherapy um, selection, and it, I found it in TK Maxx, and I love that it's organic. It just smells lovely. You can just roll it on. I keep it in my bag. Um, I just thought it's really easy to use and really nice scent to have. It's very subtle, kind of shade. So. Um, I'm definitely rec um, loving this and I would highly recommend it. It's really pretty. It says it balances your senses with a light aroma of pure Melissa, the scent of harmony. <laughs> yes, I'm <coughs> sorry. So I'm really loving that and I would highly recommend you guys check that out. Hi guys, sorry. Um, yeah, so I would highly recommend you guys check that out. It's also like really moisturising on my skin. It's um, It feels like after I put it on it feels like I've got like an oil on or something, not a perfume. So I love the combination of the ingredients that they have in this. I haven't got the box in front of me so it's really annoying because I really wanted to read out the ingredients that they have in it. Um, yeah, so it does say on here a little bit, it does say due to the content of the natural essential oils, the colour of this product may vary over time. Um, first natural brands, um, yeah, so it does actually say the list of oils in it but I just really love this because it's so moisturising my skin, it's not irritating my skin. I would just say one thing about this, I wouldn't put it on your clothes because I noticed that it stains your clothes because I remember putting it on my wrists and on my sleeves I think and um, it kind of um, stained my clothes a little bit so I would be weary of, I, would, I, I just tend to apply it on my wrists and on my neck as well but it's a very heavy scented um, perfume as well. So. Um, Yes, I highly recommend that. It's from TK Maxx. I think they do quite a few roll-ons in there that are organic and everything. But that was from the, um, I can't even say it, Tessarand, Tessarand range. And I got my one in Melissa. Yes, and I also, I'm really, really loving this at the moment. My hands have been really, really dry. And um, all my other hand creams um, don't seem to be kind of really, really doing the job. So I picked up this in Superdrugs and it's the Garnier Natural Skins Naturals Collection. I've had it before. And I've kind of just gone back to it because um, my skin, my hands have been really, really just needing that extra kind of help. So um, I picked this up and it's the Hand Repair Intensive Restoring Hand Cream. And it's got the Maple Sap Extract in it, Listerine, Anti-Dryness, Extra Dry Skin. It's dermatologically tested as well because it's from the Skin Naturals Collection. And it really works well with my skin. And my hands, as soon as I've um, put it on my hands, um, it's like it locks in the moisture and really just repairs it straight away like my hands have been really really moisturized with this you only need a tiny amount to kind of get you through the day honestly sometimes I forget to reuse it and um, I put it on basically every morning so I'm really really enjoying that so that's that one and then and recently I also have been using more body oil types of things so um, 
I've been going back to kind of using this. I also put it in the bath. I've just recently bought a new one, so hence why it's kind of a bit used, but it's brand new, so it's not really been that used. Um, yeah, so it's the from the Norwegian, I got this in Boots and an offer, so it's from the Norwegian formula range, and I've heard lots of good things about this brand as well. It's from the Neutrogena, it's from Neutrogena, and it's um, the Norwegian formula brand, it's body oil and natural sesame seed in it. I thought that was really good. It is actually, I instead of sometimes um, putting it all over my body when I get out of the sh um, bath or shower, I've been putting it in the bath recently and I found that it's really great. I think it works really well in the bath. So, and that's what I've been doing. I've really been enjoying that. I would highly recommend this oil. It's very, very light. It's not heavy or anything like that on your skin. So if you're looking for a light oil, um, not something that looks too greasy, I highly recommend this one. The other last thing I really wanted to mention was um, this, what is it, biotin, um, I've got the skin, <laughs> skin, biotin, super high po um, potency, 10,000 milligrams, promotes um, healthy skin and nails. I take a vitamin um, supplement um, every so often, I kind of try to keep on top of like um, vitamin A, B, C and D and all those things, the multivitamins. Um, but I have recently been going back to biotin because um, it really helps with not just my skin, my hair, my nail, my hair as well. My hair's been like not in great condition. I've been trying to get it into a better condition. Like my ends have been really dry and things like that. So um, yeah, it promotes hair growth as well. I would look it up. I will maybe do possibly do a separate video on this because <laughs> it could get really long just talking about this one product. But I have recently gone back to it and honestly, guys, it really, really works. Um, I have had so much hair growth with this, like new hair growth, like especially from underneath it. Even when I visit my hairdresser, they're like, you're getting, it's like you're getting new hair and um, your hair is growing. Um, so like new, brand new hair growth from the back, the back ends of my hair. So um, it does really work, but I think you just have to be careful when you do um, take this product. Um, especially you talk to your doctor before you kind of take any kind of vit vitamin supplements that are brand new to your skin um, routine or your daily routine of taking tablets and things like that. But I would highly recommend this. Um, uh, it's the biotin, and I take the 10,000, but I had to work my way up to the 10,000. I was on the five, and now I'm on the 10. So I would, um, it's really working for me anyway, and my hair's doing a lot better um, for it. So I've recently gone back to that, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So this is my last product, guys. Um, I think it is anyway. Yeah, I think this is all my favourite and I will try, I've got one more thing actually, I forgot to mention these, I got uh, recently, um, it's these headphones I got recently and I'm really, really loving them, I got also got them in Tika Nights, I really wanted something, um, basically I really wanted some headphones that um, when my husband's watching the TV and I've got the iPad or something on and he's like, can you put the volume down or can you put some headphones in? And my iPad headphones are really hurting my ears at the moment. I'm like, they're so irritating and they keep falling out. So I've got these and they're really secure and I thought they were really cool because they got the kind of old retro kind of style here on the ends and it's like got this gold, I don't think the camera's picking up, like this gold metallic part here. And I just thought it's really retro and then it's got this really soft, material um, on the ears and they just I think they look so cool on and it's got the old style kind of um, cord I look like I work in the tele sales department or something with these on but, um, I'm really enjoying this as I forget that I have them on and sometimes I fall asleep with them on that's how comfortable they are I know there's so many different types of headphones they are but these really caught my eye in TK Maxx and I think I got them in the offer as well for like 12.99 um, they had so many, but I like that they have the separate adapters so you can put one into your phone, one into the iPad and things like that. So it works well with kind of all your different types of devices. I would highly recommend that. And that's from um, Maxwell, I think. And that was it from TK Maxx. And the other thing I really, really wanted to mention was this candle. I bought a new candle. Um, it's a newer candle, I suppose, like in as opposed to all my other candles in the house. Um, but it's from TK Maxx as well, and I got it in the English Rose, rich with fragrance, and honestly, it's such a high um, fragranced candle. It's so, it smells so much of, as soon as, sorry, as soon as you smell it, it smells so much of roses. So I'm so glad I purchased that, and it's like really pink, and it goes with everything else pink in the house. Um, so I'm really loving that at the moment and I think they do other scents as well like vanilla and things like that so I'll check those out because they're really big as well I don't know if you can see how big they are they're so big 
um, and they were about five ninety nine. I think. I think there were smaller ones that are like nine ninety one. But this is so big for like the price that I paid for it, and I thought that was really cool. So yeah, loving this candle, and it really leaves. I've been. I've, I've kind of been using it already, so it's kind of been lit. And every time I light it, it the room smells like roses. So it, it's lovely. I'm really loving that. It's like I love anything rose watery. So and that's everything that I have this month guys and hopefully I will do one next month for you in April. April's my birthday month so I'm hoping I'll have lots of favourite things to show you guys and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. <laughs>